In this video, we're going to explore the crypt command. The crypt command is a way to change the root directory for a command. It's a powerful Linux utility that creates an isolated environment by changing the apparent root directory for a process and its children. CRUT, also known as change root, is a Unix operation that changes the apparent root directory for the current running process and its children. Imagine a program is run in such a modified environment. It cannot access files outside the designated directory tree. It's like creating a walled garden for specific processes. Let's break down the basic syntax of the crit command. The general format is crit followed by options, then the new root directory, and finally the command you want to run along with its arguments. The crit command changes the root directory to the specified new root and then executes the given command or runs an interactive shell. For example, sudo crit slash mnt slash new root slash bin slash bash will change the root directory to slash mnt slash new root and start a bash shell. Another example is sudo crit slash mnt slash new root ls la slash, which changes the root to slash mnt slash new root and then lists all the files in the root directory. Before you can use crit, there are a few requirements you need to keep in mind. First, you must have root privileges or use sudo to run the crit command. Second, the new root directory must contain all the necessary files and directories for the command to run. Third, required binaries and libraries must be available in the crit environment. It needs its own slash bin slash lib and other essential directories. Now let's walk through the steps to create a crit environment. First, create the new root directory using the command sudo mdrp slash mnt slash crit underscore nv. Second, copy essential binaries, for example sudo cp slash bin slash bash slash mnt slash crit underscore nv slash bin slash and sudo cp slash bin slash ls slash mnt slash crit underscore nv slash bin slash. Be sure to copy any other binaries you'll need in the environment. Third, copy required libraries. Create the lib directories using sudo mdrp slash mnt slash crit underscore nv slash lib slash mnt slash crit underscore nv slash lib 64. Then copy the library files using the command sudo c slash lib slash x86 underscore 64 linux new slash mnt slash crit underscore nv slash lib slash. Finally, enter the crit environment with the command sudo crit slash mnt slash crit underscore nv slash bin slash bash. The crit command has several common use cases. One is for system recovery. You can boot from a live CD or USB and use crit to access and repair a broken system that won't boot normally. An example of doing that is by entering sudo mount slash dev slash sda1 slash mnt, then sudo crit slash mnt. Another use case is for security sandboxing where you create isolated environments to run potentially unsafe applications with limited access to the system. An example of that is sudo crit slash sandbox slash bin slash untrusted app. It is also used for software building, where you build software in a clean, controlled environment with specific dependencies and libraries. For example, sudo crit slash build env make install. Another use case is cross-distribution testing. For example, sudo crit slash debian env slash bin slash bash. Here's an advanced example of using crit for system recovery. First, mount the root partition using the command sudo mount slash dev slash sda1 slash mnt. Second, mount essential virtual file systems using sudo mount bind slash dev slash mnt slash dev, sudo mount bind slash proc slash mnt slash proc, and sudo mount bind slash sys slash mnt slash sys. Then, enter the crit environment with the command sudo crit slash mnt slash bin slash bash. The slash dev, slash proc, and slash sys directories contain special files that provide access to hardware devices and kernel information. Binding these directories makes them available inside the crit environment. Once inside the crit environment, you can repair the system by reinstalling the bootloader, fixing configuration files, updating packages, and resetting passwords. Exit the crit with the exit command when finished.
While CRUD is useful, it has limitations. It's not designed as a security mechanism, and privileged processes can break out of a CRUD jail. It also offers limited isolation, only changing the root directory, while processes still share the same kernel, network stack, and process tree. Also, only users with root privileges can create and enter CRUD environments. Modern alternatives to CRUD include Docker, which offers lightweight containerization with better isolation, resource control, and portability. Linux containers, also known as LXC, is another alternative, which provides operating system-level virtualization for running multiple isolated Linux systems on a single host. Namespaces are also a viable alternative. It is a kernel feature that provides isolation for various system resources like processes, network, and file systems. Despite its limitations, CRUT remains a valuable tool for system recovery and simple isolation needs. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit CodeLucky.com for more such useful content.